Please welcome former Mr. Football in the state of Indiana by way of Cathedral High School and the Ohio State University, Scary Terry McLean! Ladies and gentlemen, episode 12, 12 of Hang Time. I don't know if I could even do it justice bringing the same amount of hype that we just heard from the cold open. So without further ado, Terry McLaurin. Mac, welcome to Hang Time, bro. What's up, Tress? Appreciate you for having me, man. Uh, been hearing great things about the show, so I'm glad I could be on it. Heck yeah, dude. It is, I gotta say, you know, we, we have had some awesome guests, but mm -hmm. ever since we drafted you, Dude, I've just enjoyed our conversations in general. So now it's no just going to be awesome to have you here on Hang Time. And we're going to talk a little ball. We're going to talk a little life. We're going to talk a little shop. And, and man, it's mm -hmm. just it's just really awesome to have you, dude. I love that, bro. I appreciate it. And, you know, I know we didn't necessarily get to get to be on the same uh, punt team, you know what I mean? Because they kind of snatched me away from you. But dude, uh, just know if you ever need somebody, I got you. So what Terry's referring to, guys, is – Therefore, I mean, with Cam Johnson, is he the same draft class as you? He's got to be older. Yeah, I think he's like a year or two older than I am. Okay, so there was a yeah. punter for the Eagles, and mm -hmm. all the punters, all the kickers, all the snappers, you guys meet up pregame and you talk a little bit. Well, so the first year that we've got Mac, Cam Johnson, the punter for the Eagles at the time, he comes up and he goes, hey, man, y'all's best punt team player isn't even playing on the punt team. And I go – what are you talking about? And he goes, bro, Terry McLaurin is nasty out there at Gunner. <laughs> and I go, are you freaking kidding me, bro? Like we've got, we've got this dog of a gutter. So while you have to understand selfishly as a punter, like it is awesome to see Terry do what he does all the time for yeah. the offense. But every time I see you make, which we're going to talk about these ridiculous catches that you have, mm -hmm. I just think, I could be launching the ball downfield with some hang time, hang time. Yeah. Come on now. And you would be <laughs> smacking dudes in the face. And so, you know what, man, I, I think, I think I almost appreciate that, that it's not going to happen. It's just this right. giant what if of our, our friendship and, and our relationship on the football team. It's just a, a good, what if man. I, I gotta, I gotta ask you, man, like, is, 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 do you take the same approach from trying to pin guys, you know, inside the 20? as you do your, 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 your mid game on the, on the course, like how, Mac, did, how does that approach go? Mac, I'm not joking you. And it's not just even more of an excuse for me to go golf that hopefully my wife hears this and it's like, <laughs> wow, it's really helping my husband and his career on the field, right. bro. There are so many similarities with like yeah. being a specialist, especially a punter and in golf, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like play, play in the wind. Like they always, right. I'm sure you've heard it like in your golf ventures is to let the club mm -hmm. do the work. So oh, yeah. every, every time I freaking shank one off the side of my foot, I get all pissed off because uh -huh. If I had just relaxed and punted and just hit it easy, not tried to do too much, it probably would have ended up just fine. And so, right, dude, right. there are – and it's all so technical. You know, like punting right. a football, there's 9,000 things that have to go right. But if right. you just relax and you just try and make some smooth contact with it and let the yeah. club do the work. So, Mac, thank you for asking, bro. It is it no, is I incredibly similar, man. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. I had to, I had to get that out the out the way. I'm, yeah, I dude, I you know you are my guest, but I feel like you're asking me some great questions, so I appreciate that, man. All right, so we talked no we talked a little bit about some of these contested catches. So mm -hmm. right right out the gate, whenever we go and we talk about contested catches, and we think about mm -hmm. this catch with the the Chargers. So this is this mm -hmm. is one of those that I'm talking about, dude. Like you come in and. You have all of these dudes on top of you. Like, mm -hmm. bear with me. Okay. So I'm on the sideline and I see mm -hmm. grown men leaping in your line of sight. I see people uh -huh. tipping the ball. There is a sideline, which the sidelines never miss the tackle. You can't go out of bounds. Right. The field's undefeated, bro. <laughs> the field's undefeated. So, and, and undefeated. I know, I know this is going to sound deep, but if I may. Mm hmm. How in the hell do you make these catches? <laughs> Man, hey, what goes, is, dude? Yeah. What goes through your head? Like seriously, just, yeah. just take take us there for a moment, please. Yeah, man. Well, I, I mean, first of all, I just try to catch the ball. So you know, it may not be the prettiest. I may, 
be flailing everywhere or jumping over somebody. But I, my mindset is just to come down with that ball any any way, shape, or form. And so, yeah. you know, when I think about the the one from the Chargers, I truly didn't know the guy had jumped over me to catch it until I saw it after the game. <laughs> Right hand, uh, Scout's honor. I promise you, I didn't know he was there until I saw the highlight after the game, and I was like, "Wow, he could have caught that ball. He could, he should have intercepted yes. that ball." You know yes. what I mean? But yeah, no I mean, doubt. They play for our offense, so I mean, I, the biggest thing I try to do is just try to really just focus on the ball. I think you know the biggest thing I've learned coming into the NFL is a lot of those catches that you have are going to be contested if somebody's around you or things like no that. Because these guys, as you know, are the top of the top. So yeah. I think if you could really focus on just the ball and not necessarily what's going on around you, it really makes things a lot uh, easier for you. It's easier said <laughs> than done, but it, it takes that that constant focus to try to make that happen. Dude, that is just a baller answer, man. Like in the middle yeah. of everything, it's just, hey, you know what? If you just if you just really focus on the ball, you know, like <laughs> right. those dudes, they're they're the best in the world at what they do. You got guys throwing the ball, you guys got blocking, mm -hmm. you got guys trying to tackle you. But yeah, you know what? If you just really focus on the ball, everything else is got, what dude, what you a phenomenal can make that catch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I think I could make that catch with you know, my, my son, Bo, he's about to turn four and his twin sister, yeah. Harper, four. I think if my wife throws one up, a contested catch with those two, I can pull it down. Other than that, I don't know about Definitely. anybody else, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, so we got to yeah. talk about a couple of these other crazy catches with Atlanta, mm -hmm. and then we're also going to watch them with Carolina. So mm -hmm. you, have been, you have been featured many a times in our, our hang time conversation. Now – as a, a, a fellow Sooner, Adrian Peterson, one of my favorite mm. things whenever I describe Adrian Peterson running the ball, he runs angry. I mean, the dude, the dude just runs angry. Now, yeah. Mac, one thing that I love about you, and I don't know if anybody has ever told you this, or hopefully mm. I'm on to something. Bro, you catch angry. Like, yeah. like you you catch in the form of it being like a fight like fighting yeah. off defenders going up and sometimes the way you like snatch the ball down mm -hmm. and then the way that you can get up and like you do all of the the cool things that i wish i could do so like you talk about me <laughs> checking up a punt on you know like yeah. the five yard line I feel like it would look so bad if I just kind of brushed myself off and flexed on people. But the way yeah. you do it, everything looks good, like a good angry. It is so fun to be your teammate. Like, do you I have, like, look at you. You're sitting here. We're talking on hang time. You're smiling. Yeah. You're chilling. You're talking about focusing on the ball. Mm -hmm. What what gave you that edge to play pissed off, to catch angry? Like this, this yeah. style that you have where – I don't care how good of a DB you are, they can't be pumped to cover you for four quarters. Oh, definitely. I think uh, my, my mindset, you know, when I step on the field is just, you know, that's my ball when it's in the air. You know what I Love mean? It. And Love it. And I, I think you really kind of have to have that mentality um, if you want to compete to be one of the best receivers in this league. And, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm trying to be on that journey to be one of those guys. And um, no you doubt, see those, buddy. the top guys in the NFL, like they make the, the tough catches look routine you know what I mean they make yeah um the tough situations you know make it seem like it's an everyday thing and so when you play with that passion especially I feel like a receiver man like that's one of the positions on the field you could really change the game the momentum yeah, the field position all that stuff so when you yeah. come down with a big catch especially one that people don't necessarily think you're going to come down with I just think that gives energy to everybody so you know you put all this time and work and effort throughout the week throughout the year and through your training mm -hmm. to make these big plays so you know, you're gonna feel a little good when you when you come down with some of these plays. Heck yeah, that, dude. <laughs> that I mean, you're 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 so humble, I'm not gonna lie. If I punted 160 and it and it dropped on my team <laughs> opposite five, I'm brushing myself off. Like I don't know about you, I'm brushing myself <laughs> off. Cause the, a, 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 that's not that's not easy to do. And I'll so, take it, man. I'll and, take and it. If if Next year, if next year you do a little bit of one of these, yes. I'm not gonna be mad. I'm, you'll see me on the sideline. I tell you what, I think up. I think I will, man. If if, if sure. the first time it happens next year, I'll turn over, I'll look for you, I'll give myself a little brush off. I might. <laughs> no some doubt. of my buddies after the game might text me, and be like, "Dude, are you for real? Lord, like, <laughs> Lord forbid it makes the TV copy, and they're gonna be like, "Oh my God, Tress has lost it now." Yeah. <laughs> speaking speaking of those, you know, top guys in the league. Um, you know, here on hang time, we do have our, our house call built by Van Meter Homes and the wife and I out in Virginia, we live in a Van Meter home, just a mm -hmm. heads up there, Mac. But 
Okay. Dude, you you reached a thousand yards for the second year in a row, despite being the twelfth wide receiver in that twenty nineteen class. Yeah, you're you're barely, and I mean barely trailing DK Metcalf. Yeah, since you guys all came into the league. Mm-hmm. Now me, I'm a big. I like embarrassing the people that behind closed doors pissed me off. So like the, yeah. the teams that cut me or the teams that mm-hmm. passed on me or the, the mm-hmm. teams or coaches that said, hey, you're not consistent. Your style's not going to work, things like that. Right. I just love that mental edge of going up against those dudes and hopefully proving those dudes wrong. For sure. I, I get the sense that you kind of got a little bit of that in you too, man. Yeah, I, I, I definitely do. And, um, you know, I think it's, I think it's very humbling to be able to be in a position where I'm trusted um, by our team and the coaches to be out and be that guy week in, week out. You yeah. know what I mean? Because you're going to go against a lot of the top guys in this league. And, you know, to have that 1,000 yard, that's kind of like, you know, the poster of each receiver wants to have those 1,000 yeah. uh, yard season once, let alone to be fortunate enough to be um, having it twice. You know, I think it's, it's a big blessing for me. and. Um, they couldn't do it out the other receivers who do their job at a very high level. And yeah, man. The quarterback's putting the ball where it needs to be. So, um, you know, it's not all just me. But when I saw that that stat, I'm like, man, I wasn't even born in 94. So it, it's been a little <laughs> bit. So just to, just to have my name, you know, in there with so many great players that played, you know, in our organization, I think it's, it's really cool. And, you know, I, I've always kind of taken the approach, just kind of control what I can. You know what I mean? And Amen. I, Amen. I couldn't control where I got drafted and, yep. and things of that nature. But I just knew, like, when I got drafted and I saw Washington come across my phone, I was like, you know, I'm going to do whatever it takes to add value. And so, you know, I obviously started at a special teams and I got my opportunity to play receiver. And then, That's right. you know, I just wanted to, you know, parlay that into to other endeavors. And no doubt, man. Just prove my value. You know yeah. what I mean? And I, I just that, think you ne- your job is never done. And uh, you can continue to get better, then you, you look up and you have a hell of a career. So that's what I want to continue to do. And um, I think it's, it's really cool to see, you know, where you stack up against the guys that were drafted with you. And, um, yeah. you know, I guess personally, I, 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 I kind of try to take that part of out of it is like, now nah, I'm going to prove these guys wrong. I'm going to do this yeah. and do that. But when you look up and you kind of see you're having that success, then, um, you know, human nature kicks in. You're just like, you know. You 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 know you belong. And I think every, <laughs> right. You know the you belong. Off, exactly. right? It's yeah. kind of a little bit of like that. Just a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? We all all athletes. We're, we're humble, but you know you still got that. You know I I, I got this, and, and Edge, man. you know yeah. you had to put the time in, the work in to, to continue to make that happen. So it, it's real cool. I love that too because I I always felt like whenever I would I would watch some of these I'd watch some of these punters that I looked up to yeah. that were like just these top dogs shutting dudes down. And I always thought that they did a good job of playing chess while everybody else was playing checkers. And, you know, you just kind of, as long as you kept trying to pick things up and learn more and more and more, like, no like doubt. you said, you just kind of add to the repertoire of the things that you can do. And, um, sure. and it starts at, it starts at a, uh, starts as a rookie and then it continues to build. And speaking of developing a rookie, um, Mac, I'd like to take you to maybe arguably our fan favorite segment here. Okay. Now, as you know, I had a wonderful rookie this year in Cameron Cheeseman, mm-hmm. the cheese. Yes, I just want you to brace yourself. Uh, it is okay. now time for our cheese break delivered by Grubhub. Thanks, Tress. Here we got a monster. I mean monster. Monster features an orange rind around the edges that give it much of its flavor. The rind comes from the vegetable coloring added during the cheese making. Let's try it. It's quite scary. I'm gonna have to give it an 8.2. Send it back to you, Tress. He, he, he rates it. <laughs> he rates it too, Mac. I forgot to tell you. He rates it too, boys, man. He rates like, it. <laughs> this dude, this dude That's and the funny. cheese breaks, man. Like, he is. It's funny. <laughs> Dude, that I we've talked and we've mentioned it on hang time before. I mean, mm-hmm. this this dude is all in on trying to get some sort of cheese endorsement of really of the cheese man and the freak <laughs> dude. And obviously, like whenever you go on the road, typically yeah. the fans on the road, they don't like you. 
I think uh-huh. that I think that cheese has been unanimously loved because of his last name. I mean, bro, when we're playing the Giants this last weekend, the Giants fans are just chanting Cheeseman. And I just oh. like I don't I just think no. he has his last name that brings everybody together, man. So I mean, I think we can all I mean, unless you necessarily lack like toast and I think for the most part, cheese definitely brings people together. Amen. 100%. We had an awesome locker room. You know, we had yeah, we did. We had guys. Yeah, I mean, you had rookies coming in. You had some vets mm-hmm. coming over from free agency. Is there? Mm-hmm. I know I'm kind of putting you on the spot. Has there been mm-hmm. a rookie or two that you just kind of were like, "Wow"? I mean, that was just a, a pleasant, pleasant surprise. Like for me, yeah. I was. I had no reason to think otherwise, but I was just really pleasantly surprised by John Bates. His yeah. his attention to detail and special yeah. teams where like coach would throw him in all the time and he always knew what to do. Mm-hmm. And then that's just a big bodied tight end making some yeah, of those man. catches at the end of the year. Like yeah. he was just a guy like I wanted to give some props to. He he really right. impressed me. Anybody Definitely. anybody like now that now that you're a vet, is there any yeah. works coming in where you're like, All right, that's pretty good showing, yeah. man. Yeah, I mean I think you know, I, I'm gonna show a little love to, to one of my guys in my room, but um, I think the reasoning behind it will make sense. I think De'Ami Brown, the way he he finished the year was very strong, yeah. and I don't think a, pe- a lot of people can appreciate. It's tough to be able to come in the NFL and just have success right off the bat. You know, yeah. no matter what position you're playing, yeah. and yeah. I truly believe um, this kind of was my story in college, where you know I didn't wasn't necessarily getting a lot of playing time at receiver and make some plays here and there. Um, but when I was really starting to become dominant on special teams and making consistent special teams plays and things like that, that gives your game confidence. That gives your ability confidence. So then when you take that and you and you take that to your position, him being a receiver, then you can start seeing he was making more plays at receiver. Yes, he was. And getting more plays there. But I can see the smile on his face. You hit a big punt or on kickoff and he go down there and make a tackle. We're hyping him up. So that's a big play. And yeah. you just see the smile on his face. So it's kind of just to see that maturation process and to see how it translated to wide receiver and how yeah. that helped him there was really cool to see. So, um, you know, I think he could really take that momentum into this offseason and, and come back and, and be even more impactful for us. Dude, you you sound like a freaking vet, man. Like, you're, you're, <laughs> you're still right, dude, but you're so right. Yeah, you see, like, it, I've seen true. guys throughout my career, like, yeah. how, however it is that they initially get onto the field and kind of get some mm-hmm. juice going. And a lot of times mm-hmm. for young guys, it is special teams. It is. And then you just see it spill over into their position. Dude, I 100%. I couldn't agree more. And that dude, that dude can freaking roll, man. He fly. is he can fly, fast, man. dude. <laughs> he yeah. can fly. Yeah, that sure. is. Yeah, he was. Every time I'd look out there, whenever we were punting to his direction, I'd peek over there right. and see him one on one with somebody. I was like, "Yep, this mm-hmm. ought to end up pretty it's good. Over. He's gonna torture." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, that, uh, <laughs> dude, that's cool. That's cool. The um, so when we were finishing up around the facility, you know, they often do mm-hmm. a lot of media things, and mm-hmm. you know, for me. Uh, a lot of the media folks, they had just been asking me about the new team name. And mm-hmm. I, I didn't really notice, but everything that I was answering, I was just like, hey, you know what? I really care about a cool backwards hat. Like I just, mm-hmm. as long as it's got a good look <laughs> and I can wear the hat backwards, I'm game. I'm yeah. just honored to be a part of the franchise regardless. And mm-hmm. I said, and it turns out I was talking with our production team here on Hang Time. About mm-hmm. every single person that asked me, I said the same thing. And I said, you know, just shockingly enough, they didn't really ask the punter to be a part of, uh, you know, this selection or even yeah. the big reveal. Then come to find mm-hmm. out our guest on hang time is a part of the big reveal. So all I have to ask I you, I, I'm not I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even going down the name route. I don't mm-hmm. I don't want to know. I, I'm excited mm-hmm. to find out whenever that time does mm-hmm. reveal itself. All I want to know is. And mm-hmm. is it looking like I'm gonna have a pretty cool backwards hat? I think you'll have multiple nice hats, different hats. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. think I think you'll be very pleased with the hat, the hat drip that we got coming for you. Drip. Now, Mac, yeah. I don't think that me and Drip have ever gone hand in hand, <laughs> and I'm honored to be a part of that. And I'm not gonna lie, I trust you. So I'll take <laughs> yes, I'll sir. take I'll take your word for that. Whenever so, and I have to ask because they told us like uh-huh. you being a part of it. Were you like mm-hmm. wearing the new uniforms and stuff? Like what was what was the big yeah. what was the things that you were technically involved with? Yeah, I, I can't necessarily go into all the specifics, but I you'll definitely see, you know, when that all dropped, I was definitely a part of the whole production of 
very uh, cool revealing what our what our new name is very jerseys cool. and things like that so it, it it was a really fun opportunity to be a part of um kind of what we're hoping to be you know a, no doubt, a new man. era for us heck, you know heck, what i mean yeah. And, yeah. And, and you know more more than anybody i think it's just um at the end of the day you know we want to have uh the support from everybody with with the name and everything like that but you know as well as i do um those wins and how amen, we go amen. forward is really what's going to dictate Heck yeah. uh, how this really goes goes forward yeah that's really cool dude i know i can't i yeah, i can't wait to i can't wait to see that'll be fun i gotta yeah, i gotta talk to some of the dope. guys in the equipment room about getting a couple of those drip hats stats yeah so, so i can, <laughs> i'll start i'll start rocking them asap yeah man. yeah, yeah. 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 the that. first the first time i get it you know fedex i'll walk out and i'm just gonna look at the wife and go hey babe check out the drip that's what I mean. Come on, man. Just look at the drip. Just dripping. Just dripping ah. soft, man. Oh, man. I'll have to <laughs> let you know her reaction. Hopefully she doesn't laugh me out of the house, man. That'll be all right. Yeah. right. You, uh, dude, for the other than the big reveal in the soft season, you got any plans, yeah. man? Yeah, man. I, I think I really just try to take some time first and get my mind and my body right. You know, take yeah. some, some vacations and uh, you, you know, I got to get back on, I got to, it's about time to dust the clubs off, man. I don't get to play yes. during the season. So, uh, I just learned last year, uh, my, my top score was like, uh, 95, you know, so I yeah, started yeah man. Of last year got to 95 and, uh, hopefully we can break 90 and, and go from there. But Hey, if, if, when it starts getting warm out here, or we can link up, man, I hear you. I hear the truth. Dude, you know, no, so I hear here's the, the truth. I, I love, I love golf, but golf mm -hmm. is Golf is my uh, golf is my fun time. I'm not one of those yeah. dudes that takes it real serious. Uh, I often mm -hmm. play barefoot. Uh, I got yeah. a cold beer. I got <laughs> music blasting. 100%. So as long as long as you're down for a good time, dude, I freaking I, I love playing. And I've talked to Kendall Fuller, <laughs> Adam Humphreys, yeah. Jonathan Allen. Yeah. I mean, dude, we got a big crew oh, that's wanting something. to go. So we will link yes. up and for sure do it, man. Let's Listen, I may put one in the woods, but I'm a hell of a time to play with. You That's know? it. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I may I may put one in in, in the hazard, but hey, yeah, we're gonna have a hell of a time. I'm gonna have yeah. some stories and all that. So. Yeah. So we do we do a yeah. specialist uh, we do a specialist secret Santa where you draw somebody mm -hmm. in the room of the coaches and of the players, and then you get them uh, you get them gifts or things that they'd like. Well, cheese uh, cheese drew me. He got mm -hmm. he got my name, and so he yeah. got me custom Pro V one. On, uh golf balls and and this hey. is now mac now mac bear with me now listen to me all right phenomenal gift okay yeah. but what he put on the balls says tressway washington mm -hmm. number five do uh -huh. you realize the pressure of every shot i hit with those balls if i lose one of those balls listen <laughs> it's telling on you man people yes. people who don't know golf if you see a pro v1 i don't play with pro v1 i hit up uh amazon and get the 20 dollars box okay <laughs> i get the cheapest balls known to man and i get ready to you know yep. if i lose them it's like hey yeah hey, you know, i, I lost the pro v1 <laughs> you know the callaway you see those yes. out there you're like man Somebody it's, yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> I know. And I told Chief, I was like, dude, you got me such nice ball. I might only putt with them because one, I don't want to lose it. And two, if I lose it, anybody who finds this ball is going to go, trust way, Washington, number five. Oh, looks like T-Way <laughs> lost a the ball there. Like, right. I mean, <laughs> I, I can't lose a ball. Yeah. Right. It's, there is no, if, if you and I are playing together and I tee off with one of those balls in the woods, we're going hunting, bro. We got to go freaking find it. Because <laughs> I got to keep, keep my rep up. I don't want people to be like, oh, 100%. sweet shot, Tress. This is out here way off. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That, uh, man, as you talk about, you talk about getting the body right, getting the mind right. Yeah. So for me, as a punter, not a lot of mm -hmm. physical toll on the body. Okay. I get, I get, I get back to Oklahoma for the long road trip yesterday, and uh -huh. the, the twins that are about to turn four, Bo and Harper, they're all into football, tackle, things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm playing tackle football in the backyard for the last two days with four-year-olds, and I woke up <laughs> sore today. So I don't know how you do yeah. it. I don't know how you, you do it for all those weeks, but, bro, I'm hurting. I've only been playing with toddlers for two days, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, yeah, uh, I suggest get a little cold tub. You know what okay. I mean? Maybe okay. a little massage and and, and, and maybe a Normatec. You know what I mean? A little wow. Normatec. You, 
you should be you should be ready for the second half because you know they're coming back strong. <laughs> you do, you know. As soon as naps though, they're reloading, man. Oh, that right. I love that. I'll tell you what, I'll talk to the wife about a massage too. She'd be like, What are you freaking talking about? That's off season, right. man. You need to chill out. <laughs> All right, dude. That. So uh our our production team has shown me a uh, a couple of pretty awesome uh commercials. Now, one of mm-hmm. them I noticed had to do with Pepsi. Now yeah. If you're not drinking a nice cold Pepsi, which my favorite soda of all time is wild cherry Pepsi, are are mm-hmm. you much of a soda guy outside of a just nice refreshing Pepsi on a hot summer day? Is there any others that you dip into? I love that plug right there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I try to really just stick with uh, the water for the most part. You know what I mean? I really uh, Real water, pro. sports drinks, you know what I mean? Things like that. But uh, that ice cold Pepsi will really get you, really get you going wow. you know i mean on a hot summer nice, day man. so nice uh, man. It's, hey it was a hell of a you know i think the, the most fun i had uh, was one of, one of my more fun shoots that i got to do uh because you got to show your personality you no know what doubt, I mean? you see me surfing on chips and yeah and, and you make it sandwiches and stuff like that so that, that yes. was a really cool thing the the, the pepsi shoot was a, a, a big fun one for me and yeah. i got to catch one of the longest passes ever that's right my cannon like a legit <laughs> cannon and you know, just give a little story for the viewers. Please. So you know, I'm out. I'm out in southern, you know, sunny Southern California, and I'm thinking, now how hard, how hard really could it be catching it from a cannon? You know, they tell me stand right here. I could probably catch that right. Yeah. Now. You know, this took like seven hours to catch it. Like, oh my god! It, it, caught, it took like six to seven hours to catch the ball. I was there the whole morning. We took like a lunch break and then we came back. So the people that I was working with with Team Milk were great. And, uh, you know, they, they literally customized a cannon to shoot this football. And with, you know, they, they did the testing for it and everything like that. And, um, you know, the ball would shoot sometimes to me. Sometimes they would kind of shoot to the right, to the left. So to make a long story short, it, you really couldn't tell where the ball was going to go at times. You know, they'd be like, move the ball a little bit to the right. Yes. Move to the left a little bit. And then it got to the point where, like, you know, I just couldn't, it was short or, or long or whatever. So the first the first one after after lunchtime, you know, everybody wants to get this stuff. It's the biggest yes. part of the shoot. And it comes perfectly to me, right? It comes perfect, like right down the middle. I couldn't ask for it better. And I didn't appreciate how fast it's coming down out the air. Yeah. And it slaps me so hard in the chest and I drop it, bro. <laughs> Mind you, at this point, people think I got great hands, you know. Oh, you know, yeah. Deeper. You yeah. know, it's taking you five hours up to this point to get it. So at this point now, my competitive juices are flowing. Like my girl sitting over there. I'm like, okay, yes. I'm, I'm not leaving this set until I catch this next ball. Yeah. So you know, I ended up catching it, and you know, everybody went crazy, and that was that was a really cool shoot that I got to do, and something that I don't think too many people have gotten to do. So that was that was really fun. That is, dude. That was that was really cool. That had to be. I did. You know, whenever I saw it, it just it was mm-hmm. such a cool little production. I did not even yeah. think about how long it potentially could have taken. Dude, that is, yeah. I man, I don't doubt it. Man, it took, it because t- when you don't get it, it, t- it took a seven, seven full minutes to reset the cannon to get it ready to yep. shoot again. Yep. So it's like, you miss it, it's like, all right, seven minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we we got to wait, we got to wait. But you know, I, yeah, dude, were that great. is. The people that were great, it was fun. That is, yeah, that is crazy, man. Well, dude, you have... You are a wonderful teammate. You are a great friend, Appreciate but that, man. dude, you might, you might be an even better guest. I mean, this has just wow. been, I, I have thoroughly enjoyed this time on hang time, but you, man. you know, uh, we do have a way we finish things here on hang time. Um, mm-hmm. and it is called three and out sponsored by okay. Theragun. Um, mm-hmm. You could go to, for those listening on Spotify, watching the podcast, um, mm-hmm. you go to therabody.com, get your Theragun today. Now, Mac, Love that. Here with the off season, you talk about taking some time off, you know, mm-hmm. getting the body right, getting the mind right. You have mm-hmm. the opportunity to win from me. I will present it to you, mm-hmm. a Theragun, if you can answer this trivia question that is going to have three answers. It's called okay. three and out. I know you don't like three and out on the <laughs> offense. I have to be ready at three and outs at any point and right. hang time. You're on our show. Sorry, man. It's called mm-hmm. three and out. It is what it is. Uh-huh. But if you get the three, you're out. You're good. And a good way. Yeah. You're you're out, but you want to be out. Like, anyways. Mm-hmm. Right. So speaking of, uh, you know, the team milk and what you're doing mm-hmm. with the, the cannons, let's stay in that food and drink category here for cool. our uh, 
for our three and out trivia question. How this is going to work, mm-hmm. bud, is I'm going to ask you a trivia question. You're mm-hmm. going to have to give me the three answers that I'm looking for. You mm-hmm. can you can answer incorrectly, but okay. the goal is to try and get the three answers that I'm looking for uh-huh. in one minute. Uh-huh. So I'll ask the question to you. Mm-hmm. I'll start the timer. I can either yeah. show you where you're at on the time on the phone. I could yeah. update you like however, okay. however it is that you prefer, but mm-hmm. you got it. You got to get those three answers in order to win. Okay. And then we'll be done here on hang time. Do you have any questions, right. man? So how, how long do I have? One minute. Okay. And, uh, you know, I'm going I'm to try to channel my, my inner uh, Regis film in here. Do I get to phone wow. a friend? Do I have any? Do I have Absolutely any not. Absolutely okay, not, bro. Right. You all know right, what? No, and touche, right, touche to you for asking. You. Nobody's asked that. Nope. You're in the <laughs> you're in the ringer right now, man. This is Let's it. It's it. just just me all and right, you. Man. You're by yourself. Let's do it. All right, man. So every year they publish the top selling fast food and drink Ooh. chains in the United Ooh. States. Okay. Top top selling made the most money. Top in sales. Are you with me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give me the three in the U.S. last year. Top okay. three selling fast food and drink chains yeah. in the U.S. All right. Uh, McDonald's has to be one. Number one, man. Number one. Okay. I thought you were about to tell me no. I was about to say, yeah, we were in this one early. <laughs> number one, 45 All right. seconds remaining. McDonald's okay. in. All right. McDonald's. Love, love, love me some McDonald's. Uh, but uh uh chick-fil-a no what no you got 30 wow, seconds bro is... you better wrap okay, okay. some I'm, off. I'm, 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 I'm too, too much dialogue in between I gotta start <laughs> taco bell no uh does Cops, Qdoba so... count Qdoba counts but it's not in chipotle no burger 15 King. seconds no burger Pardon. king's four no <laughs> The Starbucks, 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 two, number two. You got oh. one more. Five seconds. Uh, Three, uh, two, uh, one. Yeah, Give it to me. Oh man! Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Starbucks really shook me, man, because that was a shot in the dark. And once I got that one, I was like, dude, that was good, uh, man. Oh, I'll take two out of three. Uh, dude, and you got one, if, if you can tell. If Burger King's number four. You literally got one, two, and four. Now. Three is sneaky because there's so there is so many of them. There's actually more of these okay. than there are McDonald's. Okay. Subway. I don't think I would have guessed Subway. I know, I man. I, I, I don't think I would have guessed. So that's dude. That's, that's sneaky, that's, though. That that five dollar foot long out here blessing me, <laughs> man. <laughs> they can't. They can't resist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, that's good. That's so good. I know yeah. that, uh, dude, when you pulled Starbucks, I was like, oh, man, if he could just go down the sandwich no. route. Dude, Chick-fil-A's in the top 10, Taco Bell's in the th- You were all that. over them, man. That I was, love that, man. At least, dude, I didn't, that was, at least I didn't get skunked. So I'll take, you did not get I'll skunked, take. man. Yeah, you did not get skunked. Well, no. dude, until I see you on the golf course, man, I hope you have an awesome off offseason. Uh, dude, it is, it is fun to be a friend of yours. It is fun to be a fan of yours. Thank you mm-hmm. for coming on to hang time. And, uh, dude, here's to many more years together. It's been a lot of fun, man. Yes, sir, man. I, you know, I appreciate your friendship um, and us being teammates. And you've been great since the day I walked in just uh, from a friend and a, and a player standpoint as well. And looking forward to the future together, man. And uh, pleasure you having me on here. And, um, you know, I know this may get out, but hopefully you can team up and try to get that ping pong table back in the room. You know what I mean? Whoa. Hey, oh, yeah, we may have to save that for another episode, but the viewers That's don't know right. I'm real when it comes to that ping That's pong. That's right. Man. That's right. Got, got my I know. Custom paddle. Thanks to Tress. So. That's hey, right. I know happens. that some of our some of our fans may remember the ping pong back in the day. Mm-hmm. Best kept secret back in 2019. Right by his locker, right by Terry's locker. The ping pong table's there all season long. And then right at the end of the year, he just gets on there and starts smashing people. That's a secret in the locker room. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> we might, dude, I'm we always keeping my wrist warm. That's right. <laughs> oh, well, dude, thank you so much for coming on, man. And uh, yeah. I'll probably talk to you when once I see the big reveal. But uh, until sure. then, in the off season, man, we'll get some golf going and get ready for next year. No doubt, man. You have a good one to go off season.